Hey everybody, this is Jill, and now we're going to be getting into some mixed media with our butterfly kit. And if you haven't seen, this is what comes in the kit. It's a collage pack, and it has 15 pages of images, a butterfly stamp set, which has 19 deeply etched red rubber stamps, These, of course, are mine, and they are used, but this is what it looks like. The stamps come off. They have a, have a sticky back, and they work on acrylic blocks. This is their images when they're stamped, and this is the acrylic sheet where they go back and uh, have a little home there where you don't have to worry about losing them. They all have their little place, and you always know where to find them. And they match the top as far as the order, so it's easy to, to be able to, to find them later. And it also has a jam-packed embellishment bag. There are so many things in here. Twine, burlap, magic mesh, fibers, cards, ATC hard cards, photo corners, a nice little canvas, cute little one we're going to work on now. A piece of cardboard to make your uh, corrugated papers for your cards. There's a lot of charms, buttons, rhinestones. There's a, a piece of tissue in there, white tissue. A dictionary page and a file folder for a specific uh, project that I do. And also, um, I think it would be good for you to be able to see all the images that come in the collage pack. So I happen to have one here that is open. And this is each sheet that's in that collage pack. The images are absolutely beautiful color. I hope you can see this. They're all done on a laser printer. They're uh, excellent quality. It's one page. It's another one. These look really way, way cute when you cut them out with the scissors like these that give you the postage stamp design around the edge and you can make little postage stamps out of these and use them on your projects. Here is a book index of insects and insects on the side here. I mean, excuse me, butterflies. Um, and uh, same thing here, beautiful images, nice background papers here for cards and collages. This is really nice to add to the bottom of your cards and we match them up to match the butterflies in the kit so the colors are just exactly what you need. Here's some sheet music, different sizes for cards, ATCs and canvases and other projects you might want to do. So now they're a nice page full of beautiful butterfly images. More music, a little bigger, more butterflies. There's a few uh, nice pieces of ephemera to put in. Pages from a very, very old, old vintage insect book. Um, most of these are, uh, for instance, this one and these. Some more butterflies, and here's some papers that we made that match the butterfly colors that are in here for collage work. This is more of the same idea, and you can um, collage them onto your cards and canvases. And the last sheet is just a lot of little small butterflies you can use for different things, fussy cut or tear them. So that is the collage pack. And what I have done is um, decided to go ahead and cut out some butterflies for us for this project. And they are here. Not completely sure which one I am going to use yet. Here's some leaves, butterflies, and um, this is what I have. So I'm going to be using one of those. And um, what we're going to be using in the kit today is the Mixed Media Canvas. This one right here. I love it. It's nice and thick little chunky block canvas. And we're going to also use the twine and some burlap. And I may end up reaching in there for something else, but I, I think that might be all we need right now. 
And yes, this bag is jam-packed full of all kinds of things. And it's a very special price for this kit. And when you get done watching the videos, you can go into the uh, Mixed Media Kits and look up Butterfly Kit, and you'll see this one. Now, the first thing I do when I make these um, collages is I think I'm going to show you a sample so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Here's four samples that I did. Here's one. I even do the sides. They're so adorable. They're so adorable. This is actually a waxed crayon. Just spattered on top of the wax. These are all waxed canvases. And I will show you how I do it. Here's another one. This has a burlap on on the side and I actually grabbed a piece of fabric and, and added to it so if you have any fabric around the house you could do something like that but these are so precious um, you can probably see some of the texture of the wax on here possibly here's another one this doesn't have any burlap or twine it's just um, the images and the wax wax on top but I just love the colors of that one. And how I add these images is I don't stamp them because if you stamp on canvas, you're usually not going to get that great of an image. So I stamp them on tissue, white, cheap as you can buy tissue, and I uh, wax the tissue right onto the canvas. And um, that's how I get that look. And here's the last one. This is a sweet one. It's got canvas and twine wrapped around it. And uh, so that's what we're going to be working on in this video. I want to show you exactly how to do these so that you can make one yourself. And they do look really way cute in a little set of four, I might say. Um, you can get these canvases at Michael's um, in their canvas department. So if you want to make more than the one I sent you, you can find them there and um, they make great gifts you know who do you know that would not love that it's just so precious and um, you know they hang on the wall and they're nice substantial pieces um, so let's get started that's what we're going to be making as I said you want to stamp the images on tissue paper so after I picked out my cutout images, right here, after I picked it and cut out my images, which are right here, I actually decided to go ahead and stamp images on tissue in advance. And this is what I did. I actually stamped one of every single stamp on the tissue and several of them doubles because the tissue is a little bit different to work with and sometimes if you tear an image, uh, you have it right here, you'd have to stop in the middle of your project and and stamp anything. You've got all the images stamped right here once or twice. So I went ahead and cut them all out in advance so you wouldn't have to watch me do it on the video camera. And here they are right there. And if you notice when I cut them out, I cut them fairly close. All of them are, are cut fairly close. And you'll see why when we start applying them to the canvas. So that's what you want to do. Cut out some images, at least one, <laughs> and cut out some tissue images as well of the rubber stamps and have those to set aside. Now what I want to do is to pick up one of these background papers and this is the one that I've picked. I like that and I'm going to go ahead and use it and um, kind of tear a few pieces right there and that's the piece I'm going to use for the background. And of course here is my canvas. Now the first thing I like to do is go ahead and kind of audition these pieces. I got that word from Dina Wakely and I, I think it's wonderful because it really really tells exactly what you're doing here. You're trying to make up your mind which image you want to use. I want something bright. Uh, I want to make sure my stamps fit on so I can put those in and kind of audition those as well. Um, I love the nature's wonders. 
that wouldn't quite fit where you could read it because of the wings. So I could either go a smaller butterfly. And I actually could even do two butterflies if I wanted to. And here's one that's only half of a wing. I could have him flying off the canvas if I wanted, like that. Um, or I could use this yellow one. I, I kind of like that. kind of like that. Um, that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, now, the first thing I do is I take these off and I use my ink on the background. And I think I'm going to use yellow and the blue. And let me see what other color. Yellow, blue. And, and I think I'll use pink, actually. And uh, I get started like this. I go ahead and open up my cat's eye inks and rub a little bit on the sides to add a little color. And on the front, around the edge, and across the canvas. And then a little on the sides again. So I've got some yellow background there. And I always put yellow first, so... I don't end up getting the yellow muddied with other colors. I want it nice and clean, the ink pad, so I always put it on first. And the next one I'm going to use is this real pretty blue. And put a little of that on and touch it around the edge as well. And that's what I have so far. And then... I'm going to add a little pink and that's what I have now for my canvas to start and I'm going to go ahead and put this on as a background Oh, I like that. Now one thing I do when I make these canvases is I like to go ahead and put it on, just barely tack it on, barely tack it on with um, glue. You can go ahead and put them on with the wax. The wax will actually take the whole entire image. But I like this because I have a little bit more, uh, um, I guess you would say control about exactly how I want to put it and where I want to put it at. So... Let me see. Next thing I want to do is put my tissue paper image on. Butterflies. I think I'll put it up a little higher. See how fragile they are? They're very fragile. And they get kind of kind of get you <laughs> sticky fingers. So you want to have a wipe nearby so you can keep your fingers. Clean. Um, I think I might put this up a little ways. Butterflies, something like that. Here's Nature's Wonders. I'll put that down here. Nature's Wonders. And I have a little Emperor Stand sign here. You see where it is? There it is. See how nice it is to have them pre cut? So all you really do is grab an image and use it. Butterflies and Nature's Wonders. I think I'll tuck that under a little bit more so it's not quite so dominant. That means I might have to cut a little bit off. See why you get so close? You want it to uh, work just like you want it. There, Butterflies and Nature's Wonder. There. Now... Why do I want the butterflies? I might put something under here. Maybe some words. There. That's one of my stamps. Butterflies of the world. Beautiful butterflies of the world. And um, I think I will 
I could actually put a bee there, but he's too big. He's a little too big. And what I might do is not have quite so much of this, and that will allow me to put this cute little image on here. There. This looks like it's just ever so slightly crooked. There, fixed it. All right, now I'm going to put some other things on. Let me see. I even cut these out. I thought these could might be pretty on the sides. Doesn't fit on this one, but maybe on the corner. Hey, up, up down here. Or up here. That might be pretty up here. It's like I'm framing the whole piece of work. Um, in a way, a little canvas. And I'll put another one on the other side. And what this is from is this piece here. I just cut it, cut that stamp off. Or I cut that edge off right there. And that's what that piece is. And let me see if I have another one. Yep, I have the other one. I'll put it here. I had fun making the samples today. I made all of them this afternoon. I think they make great gifts. And the collage pack, it's very exciting to be able to finally show people how to use, how to use the collage pack. That's, there's just so many things that you can do with it. So to me, that's super exciting. Okay, move this over just a little bit. See what I mean about how fragile they are. There you go. Uh, I like that. I could put um, something in there. How about this? I like that. Put that right in there. There. It kind of fits nice on top. Um, doesn't have to be down perfect because we're going to wax everything. Okay, now I'm going to put the butterflies down how I want them. Play with it until you decide how you want it. Kind of like that over there. The little one might go better up there because I don't want to distract from. Yeah, right, that's kind of nice. Um, I don't want to distract from some of the th images that we've already put down and tissue it because they're kind of nice. There's another little image. That's how it's looking so far. I think I'll cover up part of that circle. There. I think that's pretty good for the top. And I just put a little glue on if I decide I want to move it a little bit. I can get away with doing that because it's only got a little bit of glue on it to kind of tack it down. I really like this yellow detailed butterfly. There. And move this guy down just a little bit there. And I think that's pretty good so far. There. Okay, so I've got them where I want them. And um, the, sometimes the wax doesn't really want to put things around the corner that are heavier paper, so I'm going to go ahead and, and glue that down. And same with this side here. Put a little tiny bit more glue on it because I do know that's where I want to have these at. I have them in the spot I want to keep them in. Okay, now I'm going to put some images on the side. And um, 
think I might put, here we go, celebrate the wonders of nature. And we can put a B right there by it. And it doesn't matter if it's upside down, sideways, it's just a collage. I'm just collaging things on right now. And down back here, there's a cute ladybug. Put the ladybug on because it's butterflies and nature's wonders. And here I'm going to cut the S off of nature's and just use the word nature. Right there. And I see when you're doing this, your hands get very sticky because the tissue is, is just kind of so fragile and, and you're playing with your glue stick so with the tissue. So make sure you, you have wipes nearby and wipe your hands off so you don't end up tearing the tissue with your sticky fingers. Okay, now let's see what else. Turn it this way. And maybe a detail of a wing here. This is nice. I can run it off if I want. Like that. Um about another butterfly. Could do that. Do that right there. Yep, that looks good. And here's another saying. I think I'll put the saying right here. We're just collaging. Just collaging, and we're going to go over it with the wax. Okay, that's the whole idea. Just go over it with the wax. Make sure that your images aren't wrinkled. There you go. This looks pretty good. Um, I think that that's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is um, maybe add a tiny bit of color on some of that front, just a little bit, um, to kind of blend it in with everything. And maybe the same thing with the sides. Oopsie. A little color on. See what I mean about the tissue sticky. So have a wipe ready to use. So as soon as the tissue starts to stick on your fingers, definitely wipe them off because you'll tear the tissue easily, and then um, you won't have it to use anymore. <laughs> that's why you do one or you know that's why you do more than one image when you're cutting them out. Okay, that got a little wrinkled, so I'm going to pull it out. There we go. And then a little bit more color on the images, so it kind of blends them in. That little bee, little tiny bee tissue. See how quickly that one kind of got ruined. But guess what? I have my second bee here ready. Handy. Right there. There we go. And let me see how it's looking. A little bit of more. Okay, I think it's ready for the waxing. And the way that I wax it is. I put my wax in a crock pot. I get the wax from Michael's. It's the natural. Um, actually, I think it's called natural honeybee or something like that. You can get white um, and, and and a natural. And the natural has kind of a kind of a golden color to it. And it, and it smells good too, actually. <laughs> so it's kind of fun when you're waxing. You can smell it. Now I'm going to pull the crock pot up here so you can see exactly what I'm doing and I'm hoping it doesn't make it too close to the camera but I really want you to see how to do it. The way I do my waxing is I um, put my wax on low, on a low 
temperature because you don't want it to smoke. So here it is, and I use the little bristle brushes that you get from the dollar store or hardware store. And then I take my piece and I just start waxing it like this. Can you see that? I like it to drip right back into the crock pot. And sometimes it's a good idea actually to like put your crock pot on maybe a cookie sheet or something like that so if it drips it's not dripping on your surface area that you work on let's see why i'm doing that let's wax it's looking so nice i don't think you get the full benefits of it on a video but um it looks great now i'll show you the next step we'll put this wax back And what I do is, if there's wax a little bit too heavy in places, all I do is hit it with the heat tool. A little bit of heat on it, and um, that's the answer. So let me get my heat tool up here. There we go. And um, I do it usually over the crock pot. I want you to see everything, so I'll bring him back up here. <laughs> and this is how you do it. You just hit it with the heat gun and you'll... I don't know if you can see for sure, but it starts melting. The bigger spots start melting slightly. And if you have any buildups, that will just... Dripping back into the crock pot right now. Well, I think that's good. I had a couple thick spots on there, and as soon as I put the heat gun on it, it took off the real thick spots. There's one up there, and watch what happens. See what it looks like now if I hit it with the heat gun. Melted it down a little bit so you can see it. And that's what you want to do. And there you go. That's that's it. Now what you can add a few things if you want to. Um, let me put the crock pot back on the table here. Always keep your crock pot on low and be very, 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 very careful. Do not let children use it. Use all the safety instructions that come with the crock pot when you bought it. Be very, very careful. It's it's uh, super easy to hurt yourself or burn yourself with that crock pot. So don't let any children in the room when you're using it and be very careful yourself. Okay, now if you see um, what I might do here, if you see that one, um, example I had I I actually put burlap around it like that and it was really cute um, you could do that it hides your images um, so maybe I might actually cut this in half and then I'm just auditioning. I don't know if I really want it there or not. Auditioning is, like I said, Dina Wakely's word for try it out before you commit. So I'm going to cut this piece a little thinner. The reason I'm thinking of putting it on there is because it's texture. And that's kind of what mixed media is all about to me is texture. And I don't want to hide my images, but I could add a little texture if I want to. Uh, I kind of like that. It's a possibility. If I put it on there, I'll also put twine around it. And um, let's see how, how it looks. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Now the way I do it is wax. So... I'm going to bring the wax over here and put it down with wax. And 
I go right over the burlap, I want it to have that look. I like it. And I don't care about it kind of falls apart or anything. I just I like the texture. It's all about the texture more than perfection. So let's put a little wax here. Pull this up. There. There. There you go. And come around the corner. La la la. Now you don't necessarily have to do this. I didn't do it on some and some I, I did it on. Um, it's just something that's fun. And add some dimension to what you're doing. A little bit more dimension. And I'm going to put that there. Just like that. Now I think I'll cut some of this extra off. You don't have to. You can leave it very natural and I guess the term is organic <laughs> organic looking or you can um, trim it a little uh, I decided to trim it a little and then I'm also going to add some twine and I want it to meet up here at the top I'm going to wrap it several times and of course the twine and burlap is in your kit um, I think three times should, twi I think two times is enough for this. And I'm going to tie it up here, the top, and a little, and cut it off here. Oops. And tie it in a knot at the top. And a bow. This is all giving everything a little texture. And I think I'll make it just a little smaller. I don't want it to overpower anything. Cut it off a little. And I'm going to put a little drop of wax on there to hold that down. And there you have it, a mixed media canvas piece, and it's looking very good. I like it, lots of texture. Um, if you want, of course, you can hit it with the heat gun a little. Be careful. And I like it. I like it just the way it is. I like it just the way it is. When you hit, use the heat gun, make sure you're not, um, your little pieces of tissue aren't close. Because <laughs> they went flying. Okay. There we are. Cute. I like it. I like it. And I hope you like it too. So there we are. And let me show them all again. But look how easy that was to do. These are great Christmas gifts, Mother's Day gifts, um, Father's Day gifts, sister gifts, brother gifts. Look at that two pair. Would they be so cute like this on the wall? So cute. So cute. Adorable. And I also um, put a little glitter on them. And the way I do that is here is the glitter. And I use Martha Stewart's coarse glitter. I love that. And then you just heat it a little tiny bit. And shake the glitter on there. Don't put too much on there. And then put it again. And when you
you hit that, put it on there and shake it. Don't put too much on, but when you hit it again, it, it, it kind of keeps that glitter where it won't shake off. And um, it's nice. You don't have to worry about a glitter mess when you give a gift because it's waxed in. But it just gives a little sparkle. So there we are. We got those two. Got this one. Got this one. And we have this one. And I sell my samples that I make online on my Etsy account. So if you want to go into TweetyChicks.com or um, my website, you'll see my Etsy and you can purchase any of these that you want. And then you can see firsthand exactly what they look like when you make your own. So thank you so much for watching and I do encourage you to um, think about buying one of my kits because they are a fantastic price for the stamp set and the 15 pages of collage elements and also a jam-packed kit full of the canvas and twine and burlap and etc. And um, that makes it real fun too because there's so much in there and I have videos on, on a lot of different projects so you'll know what to do with that kit when, when you get them. This is just one video. I have card videos and artist trading card videos and um, tags and wooden plaques and all kinds of different videos on how to use my collage packs. So um, I also wanted to mention real quick, this one here, do you see the blue, the blue dots? That's wax and the way I did it is crayons. And I took this crayon right here, sky blue, and I uh, melted it with the uh, hot um, glue gun and I and I spattered it and that's how I got it and I dripped a little bit right there on the twine as well but um, I didn't want to leave that out if you want to spatter them they look really really pretty spattered as well and um, that's how you do it you just hit it with the, with the hot, hot um, heating tool and spatter it and you have a little bit of that on your um, canvas. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.